Hi, it's Hilly Zavaro. Today I want to show you how I use random name pickers from onlinestopwatch.com to practice vocabulary and grammar items uh, in a fun way. So the first thing I want to show you is how I use this uh, option. It's called a uh, fishing picker and to practice grammar concepts. So we start with this. And then we get a time expressions and students have to say a sentence uh, using that time expression. So here they need to use the past simple. For example, yesterday I watched a film. And we continue now. Now they need to use the present progressive. Right now I am reading. We have another yesterday. At the moment, we can say, I am uh, reading at the moment, or we are playing at the moment. Second thing I want to show you is how I use this one. It's called the claw crane machine, and this is to practice synonyms. Vocabulary. So, for example, if you get beautiful, students need to say pretty. If we see the word cab, students need to say taxi. And we got that again. When we get it many times, we can click the remove button and then it won't show again. Occur, so for occur, students can say happen or whatever vocabulary you're teaching. Next thing I wanna show you is uh, this. With this we can um, practice some uh, colors and some um, clothing perhaps. So let's say we do a competition of 10 seconds. We have students bet on which runner is going to win. So we can say, do you think um, the runner with the, the green shirt or the blue shirt is going to win? The one with the red shirt, the one with the, the red-headed one? Uh, the one with the green hair, etc. And then we start. And we see who won. Usually what I like to do is I like to say, raise your hand if you think number one is going to win. Raise your hand if you're betting on number two. Raise your hand if you're betting on number three. Another shorter way to do this is say, raise your hand, um, raise one finger for runner number one, raise two fingers for runner number two, raise three fingers for runner number three, raise four fingers for running runner number four, and then we play the game and they all really um, cheer and hope their runner is going to win. So it's a lot of fun practicing vocabulary in a fun way. And the last thing I want to show you today is how to practice vocabulary um, uh, in a fill in the gap uh, form. Using this, this is the wall. And then we stop. And students need to say, I play soccer. We can do remove and continue. Then you have my m mm, is down. Now to do these games, uh, to do these games, let me just do one last thing, one last example. The m mm is barking, so here students need to say the dog is barking. The word is dog. In order to do this, you just need to uh, go to uh, onlinestopwatch.com, random name pickers. And then you choose one that you like. Let's say we're going to do the Wheel of Fortune. And we put whatever items we want. We click this, the settings button. For example, the dog. Uh, or like this, the mm, is barking. The mm, the TV is once we inserted many sentences we click save 
and then this is our link to play the game. We can keep this link, copy, and save it on our computer and play the game. My father is mm, dinner. So students need to say my father is having dinner. So save this link uh, on your desktop and save all the links and everything that you need is right here to use the um, the timers you use classroom timers and you have many timers here including those that you can use to practice some vocabulary some vocabulary items with the younger children okay and they can bet on who's going to win. You can use numbers, colors, and etc. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will use this in class to gamify your, uh, your lessons. Enjoy. Bye-bye.